computer. Hello, hello, hello. This is your Easy Speak IT support for the VIC Club. I will share screen number one. I've got two screens, you see. So I'm sharing. And now I'll go into the Toastmasters and see if I can duplicate what I just did, which is why I wanted to show you. So the meetings, I went to meeting a bit further than the current one so that I can delete a few templates. So, okay, so here, for example, the 9th of July is in the next term and we often have a summer break. So I've gone into that meeting and I'm editing the agenda. Of course, I have to have the club officer rights. I have to have this option. There needs to be the pencil there to say that I can edit the meeting or edit the agenda. Referring to edit the meeting means this particular meeting on the 9th of July and edit the agenda is the agenda that has been selected. But I'll show you now what happens when we edit the agenda. And here you can make lots of changes. I've done other videos on that, but you can see this particular agenda is called three speeches. And when you click on this drop down, these are the other templates for the agenda that we have. I've just deleted one called Vic Two Speech Standard because it didn't have the timings in it. Because as a club, we decided we wanted to show the minutes, the timing on the agenda. So when you look at what this agenda would look like printed, you can see it by clicking here, agenda. And you can see it's got separation lines here. Sep okay, this is a contest agenda. Was that what it was called? I don't remember, but we've got the timings here the expected time that that would take without separating each of the speeches here. So whether you take three minutes or two minutes, that's not taken into account, but you have the times here. And that's what that agenda looks like. So we will go back into this agenda and it's just called three speeches, but actually it's a contest. I think I'll delete that agenda because that's not, that would need to be edited. What are the other options we have? camera operator meeting, end of year party, two speech timings and video. So, okay, let's look at that one. And I'll go back to the three speeches and delete that one. Big two speeches, timings and video. We'll look at that agenda. It's also an evaluation contest. Has that already been set up as a contest for the 9th of July? I don't understand why we've got contests everywhere. It doesn't look right to me. So I want to, so what I was going to show you, <laughs> is there any difference? No, it all looks the same, doesn't it? It doesn't look like it's doing what I wanted. So if I, three speech plus video, well, normally we're recording, huh, okay, this is what you club members have to decide, are you still recording or not? And this video is probably irrelevant. So, oh, okay, I didn't press go. When you change your agenda, you have to click go to say that's how you want it, right? So currently, this agenda was whatever it was, a contest by the looks of it. And I'm going to click go and now have a look at the agenda. Okay, it's all learning by doing. So this is what the agenda looks like according to how it is set up now. So it doesn't have any of the times here and no separation lines, but you can, you can create all of that in the agenda that you edit here by introducing things, but that's a different lesson. What I wanted to show you was how to delete a template and I'm just looking for which template I'm going to delete. So I'll go make this one a video meeting.
film meeting written feedback. So when you've edited your agenda, you can then create a new template, give it a name or replace it and select which one you're going to replace. And what here is the option to delete the agenda. So I wanted to delete this video agenda. Camera, open the meeting, describe the program, evaluate speech. So camera operator video to film the meeting. We haven't really been using that function at all lately. So I'm going to delete that video template, right? So I'm going to go down here, delete this template video and click delete. Yes, I'm deleting that. And if you want a video in your agenda, then you're going to have to add it or select one of the other ones, which might have it. Look here, we've got film meeting in that one. Camera operator meeting. Let's have a look at that. Oh, I didn't click the go, did I? I don't think so. Camera operator meeting go. See, that changed something. That gives you the camera operator. And then you can have a look. But you haven't got any of the times in here. So if, if you are going to have a camera operator, for example, and we wanted to keep track of the time so that we stay on schedule, then, so look carefully, this is the camera operated meeting, right, here, and we are going to show the times. Here, print yes, yes, no, yes, yes, no, yes, yes, no. We are going to add yes to show the times. Where is that now? <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. I used it. I, I added that in all the other ones that, that I did it in. So I want to, so for example, let's edit here. Introduces evaluation team. Right now, print this item on the summary agenda. Yes, print the start time. This is where it is. So, if you want to maintain your times, you've got to click here to yes or detail agenda only. But if you want it on, on your agenda in principle, yes. And the line is here that space bar underneath. Okay, so I'm updating that, and you can have a look at what that looks like. So general evaluator here, now you have a time. So for example, first speaker. All right, we'll go into the first speaker. Evaluation team introduces first speaker, edit that, okay, and say print the start time for this item. Yes, update, look at the detail, and you see Toastmaster of the day introduces first speaker and you've got the time. And then if you want to separate the speakers to the evaluator, then you'll go here to the general evaluator. Right, so we'll go down to this part to the general evaluator. Hands over to general evaluator, vote for best. Okay, so we'll say here. And first we want the time, print the start time for this item. Yes. And a spacer, which is just after handing over to the evaluator. You'll see what it looks like. Update, right? Check what it looks like. Okay, I thought there was supposed to be a line there and after that. Backup speaker evaluator. Why didn't that show? Didn't I update it? La, 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 la. General evaluator opens evaluation section. Didn't I update it? Print the start for this item. Yes. Print a spacer. Yes. Update. And go to the agenda. There it is. You see, we've put in the time for the general evaluator to start. And the evaluation section starts below this line. So you can do that to the, you can edit the agendas that are already there. And when you've done that, you can save 
the agenda. This is the one camera operated meeting, right? So use this agenda to replace the template. It's still the same one. So we're going to say camera operated meeting and save it, right? So that is what it's going to look like. You can keep adding the times here that you want. You can separate between the evaluation, the introduction of the meeting. That's what I used to have. I used to have the first section and then the speeches and then the table topics and then the evaluations. And uh, you can do any of that the way you like it. And to fit more templates, you need to delete from here. So the best way to do that is to have a look here. Go to a meeting further away that you might not even need. So that I assume we won't have a meeting in the middle of summer. We may, we may not. This has been played around with quite a bit. Mentoring training. I don't believe we'll have mentoring training in July, but we might still have it some other time. So two plus guest fall speech contest. We don't have that anymore. There's only one speech contest. So if I delete that, I go here. You change this template to that, then you'll see what it looks like by looking here on the agenda. That's what that would look like. Describes the program. And then you can go down here and delete the template of, oops, the one that I just had, which was the Fall Club Contest. So now that I've deleted a couple, it should be possible for you to update any agenda that you want to update. Okay, I hope that was helpful for you and happy to serve. So all the best.